This is for Luigi! You stupid idiot! Oh, hey everybody! I'm just over here playing Super Mario Brothers for the NES! Aw, oh, come on, Bowser! You suck! So anyway, as you can probably tell, I recently moved. And it was about a three-day drive, so I saw all kinds of stuff. I saw this. I saw that. This was one of my more favorite things, personally. I went and saw the big that there. Uh, I saw the the biggest, just biggest walnut you'd ever see. I also stopped by uh, the can cantina in Star Wars. That was pretty cool, but I can't show you the picture because it's like George Lucas copyrighted. I also stopped by the Wind Waker. Just the whole thing. Kind of had to go a little out of the ways for that, but I definitely saw a Space Jam. That was a good movie. So naturally I've been all over the place lately, but that doesn't mean that I don't have time to do a little Halloween special. And I think I got just the game. Somewhere. Castle of Deceit! Now there's this certain company that was called Color Dreams, a company made infamous by a certain angry nerd for making some really terrible unlicensed games like Bible Adventures, Sunday Fun Day, and some other junk. They had such a bad reputation for their games that they actually created a different name to release some of their games under called Bunch Games. And as you can see, it says Bunch Games right here under the title, so that means that what I just talked about is decently relevant. And I thought this would be a good game to play for Halloween because one, there's no such thing as Dark Seed 3. Two, I didn't have a whole lot of time to think about it. And three, this guy's kind of scary looking. And he's got some magic stuff coming out of his hands right there. So, that's probably scary. The game drops you off with pretty much no information other than Only you can avert the doom that looms over your world. Which is an easy way of saying, we made too many crappy games and ran out of ideas, so just go ahead and kill some stuff. The first thing that catches my eye is my guy. He basically has no animation whatsoever. He just kind of waddles around and when he jumps, his feet kind of wiggle a little. You see that right there? That is dedication to quality. Hey, somebody pencil that down for me for later when I'm doing my things. I need to remember that. What's really funny though is your attack. You only have one and it's probably the least epic thing I've ever laid my eyes on. Oh no, Harry Potter, we need you to save the day with your magic. Here comes the evil Gumblegore, he has the magic wand also. Okay guys, here I am, Harry Potter, get ready for my specialty power. The Wing Guardian goes, uh... How exactly am I walking on nothing here? I mean, I may not be an expert on game design, but it sure looks like I should be falling right- Oh, there I go. You have been deceived. Uh, game, I think the word you're looking for is killed? Or maybe murdered? Accidentally fell, perhaps? I know the name of the game, you- you don't have to remind me. The platforming in this game seems really weird to me. Sometimes when you jump and try to very softly change direction in midair, it sends you flying. It doesn't do it all the time, only in certain places, but when it does, boy is it hard to do certain simple things that shouldn't be hard to do but are hard to do based on what I just spoke about regarding the platforming in this video game I am talking about right now called Castle of Deceit, where it is very hard to achieve success with performing selective jumps that are hard to do, even though they shouldn't be because of how difficult it is to- Just imagine if this happened in Mario for the NES that I'm showing to you right now on the screen. I don't think I'd be able to enjoy slicing Goombas in the face with a two-handed broadsword nearly as much. Miyamoto really knew what he was doing here. The enemy AI is also some of the strangest I've ever seen. Some of them just fly around and you shoot them. Yeah! But a lot of them dodge your attacks. Under some circumstances, they try to attack you, but every now and then they just lock into this completely pointless state of pissing you off. I mean, what is the point of this exactly? He's never going to kill me, so why is it necessary? Because game design! At first the game seems pretty hard, and it definitely is, especially since there's no save feature, but eventually you get the hang of it. Hey. I'm actually getting pretty freaking good at this game, if I do say so myself. Hey, look, I just killed that guy. Wow. Maybe I really am the only one that can avert the doom that looms over your world. Oh, man. After each level, you'll fight a boss. They're all basically the same, but some are more difficult than others. Oh yeah, show that stupid praying mantis head who's boss! Oh yeah, oh yeah, dance to the music, dance to the music, oh yeah! Oh, the song's over. I'll just leave. Speaking of songs, getting tired of this one yet? Well, too bad, because other than the boss music, that's the only song. 
Get used to it. And what makes it worse is it's not even fitting music. Here I am on some kind of magical quest in a castle. It's apparently a bunch of different other castles. Probably some colored circle things I might have to get. I possibly defeat this guy with yellow coming out of his hands. I don't know. And this is the best they could give me? I deserve better and I know that because my mom told me that I did. It's no wonder everybody hated your games because you suck. Sorry, that was kind of mean. Then once upon a time, you walk through a door that takes you to what is apparently supposed to be the Castle of Poseidon. But I in fact do know, believe it or not, what a castle looks like. This right here is not a castle. It's water, actually. And as you may notice, our hero has just as much charisma as ever. And you know what? I just realized something. This game really wasn't a very good choice for a Halloween video. There's really nothing scary or... Halloweeny about it. Probably should have thought of that before I did a video on it for Halloween. Oh well. Hey everybody, was that video not quite scary enough for you? Well, maybe I can help you because I have two other videos. One was called Top 10 Scariest Enemies in Video Games, believe that or not. That's, see that, see that's, uh. The other one's about pigeons and dating them, so that's pretty scary too in its own right. If you like the video, make sure you click like button. I don't know where the heck it is with YouTube's new layout, but I'm sure you'll find it. You're a smart kid. Also be sure to subscribe for more videos that hopefully don't suck. Bye bye.